welcome back it's monday morning i'm starting a new vlog why did i say it like that vlog um i think be real just get one off so brb because i gotta do my be real <laughs> Be Real interrupted me filming my intro. But here I am, welcome back. It's Monday, it is 3.30. Just been working all day since my run this morning. I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm just trying to do some strategy and stuff because I need to make some money. Okay, my lighting on this camera is really pissing me off. I don't know what's happening to my camera, but hey, so glad you're here. Probably just gonna be working for the rest of today. afternoon and I'm actually just finishing I guess I probably look so tired because I actually just woke up from a little bit of a nap it's not even Tuesday afternoon it's 5 40 at night but I was feeling so tired but my boyfriend and I just ran lots of errands today and now I've been I was doing a little bit of work and then I took a nap and now I'm gonna finish up the rest of my work before I go over to Sarah's to have a couple glasses of wine some snacks but I got some things at Walmart today some claw clips I don't know how to put my hair in a claw clip but I wanted to get some and then I got the cherry batiste. I've never smelled this one. Oh wow. Oh, this piece of cilantro stuck to it. Kind of reminds me of like the smell of Tresemme or something, like from when I was in high school, like hairspray. Anyways, just wanted to check in and say hey. I, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and sit with my laptop and do some work here at my dining table for maybe another hour or so and go over to her house and have some wine i think i'm gonna um depuff my face <laughs> oh my gosh um i just got this off amazon by the way um woke up took actually quite a bit of snow on the ground but then it ended up being the most beautiful day outside today so I was super thankful to that. I actually forced my boyfriend to take an Instagram photo for me, which he's never done before. <laughs> he did pretty good, so that was fun. Also, I finished, that's what I wanted to talk about. Okay, I finished The Idiot, um, and I loved it. Hold on, my tea is gonna be ready. Yeah, I finished this. I the first half I have to say was a little bit slower to get through but as soon as I hit probably like page maybe just like in the second half I guess because it does split it up I zipped through it I read like 150 pages in one night and then I read the rest of it over the past little few days and I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads I thoroughly enjoyed this book it definitely made me feel like I want to read more classic literature. I'd like to read, I think I'd like need to do more research on Dostoevsky's The Idiot, but it definitely, like from the Goodreads uh, reviews that I saw, definitely like played into those ideas of like, just being kind of, not oblivious, but just still not understanding like, or being exposed to like real life or what things are, like how to do things as an adult and i don't know i just i really loved it i'm not any sort of lit person so i don't know how to talk about literature but i really really enjoyed it and if you're trying i would highly recommend it to anybody so many amazing words that i learned reading this book and i really loved the 
main character. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I kind of want to read go straight into either or, which is the sequel to that one. Or I might, which is like whatever, I might read the third Game of Thrones book because I did finish the first two. I really would love to finish the series. And I told myself I would do like two or three books in between reading them because they are quite heavy but I have read probably four or five books in between so I can't decide which I'm gonna read next um I do have a Goodreads account so I think you can still follow my reviews and everything but I just like don't add people unless I actually know them I'm just having some throat coat right now yeah would highly recommend this I wish I knew how to speak about books better but maybe as I read more I will I also really want to get into bread making. That's my next thing that I kind of want to start doing. That's all I really wanted to talk about. I probably will see y'all tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's sunny again today. Tomorrow Paige and I are going to shoot some stuff together. So I also need to kind of brainstorm outfits that I want to shoot. because I did that Sunday swap with Sunday Riley and I kind of just wanted to update y'all about what I actually have been using so I used up the ice moisturizer love this super amazing if you have really dry skin it is a very thick cream I actually preferred it when I mixed oils into it to make it like a little bit more blendable because it is super super thick so love this use the whole thing I get sent a lot of stuff so I have product that I need to use up before I can repurchase this but definitely will add to my repurchase list okay next I have been loving the CEO glow oil I put that on in the morning I've used about half of that I've used most of my um, good jeans I already have a replacement for this love this use it every morning what else have I used up? I used up the spray, the pink drink spray. I liked it and I enjoyed using it and I used it every single day, but it's not sort of like a revolutionary product for me or anything. But I replaced it with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner and I've been liking this so far. I'm not particularly attached to it or anything like that. And then I guess to replace that moisturizer in the day, I've been using the Tata Harper um, Rich Cream that they have it's super thick i still mix in the ceo glow with that and i like it it's really hydrating okay lighting let's go for nighttime like i said i was using this morning and night but for nighttime now i'm using the uh charlotte tilbury magic night cream this is so thick it feels like putting vaseline on your face honestly i kind of like it i have really really dry skin so it does make my skin feel like pretty plumped up in the morning so i really like that so yeah those are the things i've been liking recently i just want to also update you guys i still use my super goop sunscreens all the time my favorite facial sunscreen still what else am i still using this is what i still use to take my makeup off every day the uh nourishing 
oil cleanser. And then I do use the um, Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser right now. And I love this. It's really good if you have dry skin. Yeah, I think those are all my updates. I'm still using the same makeup. I do use the Luna Night Oil too every night. So yeah, there's that. Oh, eye cream. I've been using the Tata Harper Restorative Eye Cream recently. This is so nice and hydrating. And then I sometimes will go in in the morning as well with the auto correct from Sunday Riley because it has like a little bit of a kind of, sh I don't know, reflectiveness in it. So it makes my under eyes look a little bit brighter, but I love this. It's really hydrating. And I use this morning and night. Okay, I think that's it. I just wanted to update y'all. Sometimes I feel like it's hard when influencers um, like do paid products, like paid projects with companies for skincare and makeup or whatever, and you don't know if they actually like them, but I have been using this stuff and actually using it up, so. Do indeed. Yeah.